Greetings, America. We've seen Democrats put on uh, the diversity of their party every night of the convention. Uh, and it's, it's something they do that's an, a, an electoral necessity for them. They have to put together that kind of co coalition to win. But it was particularly relevant tonight because they were nominating Kamala Harris for vice president. And Senator Harris of California becomes the first black woman uh, to join a major party U.S. presidential ticket. We're all in this fight. You, me, and Joe, together. You had many uh, powerful women in the party, Hillary Clinton, the 2016 uh, presidential nominee. I wish Donald Trump knew how to be a president because America needs a president right now. Nancy Pelosi, the two-time Speaker of the House. I've seen firsthand Donald Trump's disrespect for facts, for working families, and for women in particular. Elizabeth Warren, who ran for president and has a very strong following from the progressive movement. Our economic system has been rigged to give bailouts to billionaires and kick dirt in the face of everyone else. And Barack Obama went full bore after President Trump. Donald Trump hasn't grown into the job because he can't. And the consequences of that failure are severe. It's as if they're talking to that very small slice of the electorate that may have voted for Obama twice, moved over to Trump in 2016, and they're not really telling those voters you were wrong back then. They're implicitly saying, hey, understand why you might be dejected or disappointed or even angry about the, the state of things. And so you took a gamble. You took a rider on this guy. Well, now three and you know, nearly four years later, you've got your answer. This president and those in power, those who benefit from keeping things the way they are, they are counting on your cynicism. They know they can't win you over with their policies. So they're hoping to make it as hard as possible for you to vote and to convince you that your vote does not matter. Senator Harris managed to check a lot of boxes in, in that speech. So you had the, the weight of history. You had the usual job of validating the top of the ticket, selling Joe Biden. And then you had being the, the campaign's designated attacker. Donald Trump's failure of leadership has cost lives and livelihoods. If you're a parent struggling with your child's remote learning, or you're a teacher struggling on the other side of that screen, you know what we're doing right now is not working. She did an effective job of, of not just glossing over the moment now. She, she paid heed to all of that history, but then tied it back to the, to the wrenching kind of reckoning over racial injustice that is ongoing in the country now. And let's be clear, there is no vaccine for racism. We've got to do the work.